Hi, I'm Pete DiDonato, member of the Innovation and Technology team, and I'm here to talk to you today about SCH's new mobile web app. The mobile web app is a website that is optimized for mobile devices like iPhones, iPads, Android tablets, Android smartphones, and will work on many Blackberries as well. A mobile web app is a little bit different than a regular app that we hear the famous quote is, oh yeah, there's an app for that. Those apps, the kind that you get from the iTunes store or from the Android app store, are specific to a device. So something that you buy through iTunes will only work on an iPhone, iPod, or iPad. Whereas a mobile web app will work on all mobile devices. So our app is a mobile web app, and it's basically, once again, just an optimized version of our website that will run on your devices. So it doesn't matter which platform you have, this will work. Okay, let's take a look at the mobile web app for SCH.org. For this demo, I'm going to use an iPhone, but you could use an iPod Touch, an iPhone, an iPad, any Android phone or tablet, as well as some other smartphones that support web browsing, like a BlackBerry. So the first thing that you need to do is launch your web browser, and since I'm on an iOS device, I'm going to use Safari. Once I open my web browser, I'm going to type in www.sch.org forward slash mobile. Now I'm greeted with the optimized version of our site for phones. It won't automatically redirect you here. You'll have to actually type in that URL, www.sch.org slash mobile. We may automatically redirect you to this in the future, but for now, we want to give you the chance to experience both the full version as well as the mobile app. So here we have about 10 icons of what's currently available on our mobile. The first one, SCH Events, is going to take you into our calendar. So here you can scroll down, select an event, and just tab through to see, oh, okay, that parent night, it's going to be on the Cherokee campus uh, from 7 to 9.30. If I hit the back button, I could go down and say, that's not the event I wanted on that, that night. Oh, here's the one, the 7th and 8th grade um, Girls and Parents Laptop Strategies event. It'll Again, it'll give you location, perhaps some contact information, times of the event, etc., etc. You can further customize by selecting just one calendar that you want to display. So if I only wanted to see the important dates, for this week, I would see that, okay, yes, um, actually in upcoming events from 110 to 116, I have the MLK Day of Service on Monday. Unfortunately, these settings won't save. You'll have to select them each time you come here. But as we launch more features of Phase 2, your preferences will be able to save and you will be able to customize calendar settings. Okay, scroll through. I'm going to hit back. And the next feature that I want to look at with you is the news. So here's a quick way to keep on top of the news, and you'll see that these stories match up to the ones that have been on our website recently. So here I can read about our five award-winning, uh, five awards that our robotics teams won at the first LEGO League competition a few weeks back in December. Um, again, I'll just click back. And that's an overview of the news section, updated pretty frequently. Third, we'll look at the athletics option, which is one of the most used features of our website, as well as we anticipate for the mobile web app. So here, I can easily scroll through a schedule for all teams, or I can say, you know what, I really want to see the boys' varsity basketball. And there you go. I see... We have a game today against Penn Charter. Good luck, guys. Hope it's a big win. Going to go back, back again, just tabbing through on my phone. We also have a link to the latest VMB, so if you click the VMB, it will take you to the full-blown website and display uh, the most recent mailing that we did. And we have a good deal, a good dose of social media in our mobile web app. So you can get right to our Facebook presence, right to our SCH Twitter feed, as well as our SCH YouTube channel, which highlights videos created in our vidcast studio. There's a link to our Shift blog, which gives you sort of a high-level view of some of the things that are going on in our, on, 
uh, our campus with the innovation and tech team, projects we're working on, resources we're finding, 10% uh, time, and other projects that um, would give you a good bird's eye view into what we're working on. You can of course click to view the SCH full version and you get an idea of how it looks different. And If you have a phone that supports pinch and zoom you can resize and you could say oh well I really want to navigate the web with the full version I'm not looking for the mobile site and give you an idea of how it would look on this iPhone screen so I'm gonna jump back out to the mobile web app you get a sneak peek to some other new features that we're looking to launch including the alerts and the Priscilla Sands blog we anticipate adding new features and refining this in an ongoing way this is the first part of phase two so we hope you'll enjoy the mobile web app and it'll be really convenient for you when you're on the go or when you want to experience our website on a smaller screen size. Thanks very much and have a great day.